It's August, and with the NFL preseason full swing, that means Madden video games are back in the limelight. With a lot of heat on EA for the consistent botching of the franchise, we have a sense of Madden fatigue. So how did it go this time? That is one big pile of shit. I've always been a fan of playing Madden, missing the days of the classic titles like Madden 2004, which to this day I will call the greatest of all time. But as a fan of the series, I need to be honest, the last few years of Madden have been pretty rough. A lot of bugs, a lot of just crap. And the fans of the series are just hoping that they could have a game they could put on a pedestal saying, this is our game. Not saying that college football is perfect, because if you watched my video on it, you would know that. But Madden has always been the garbage bastard child of EA that has always wanted for their game to reach the hearts of the masses. So with Madden 25, I used my good old 10 hour game trial and tried out the next installment of Madden and wanted to see if they could get me to like the game enough for me to buy it completely. Do they find the secret sauce that football fans are looking for? Let's pray that Aaron Rodgers doesn't get hurt on the first snap. Avoid overspending on Ultimate Team and jump right into this. So I know this may be different compared to most of my reviews, but I feel as though it's fitting for me to start with my bad. I need to be honest, I once loved the concept of the Ultimate Team. The idea that you can use the history of the game and create your own Ultimate Team of Legends and compete against others is an amazing idea that I love. FIFA 09 created it, but then we saw both in NCAA football and eventually added to Madden. And I was one of the biggest supporters of the game. But then eventually EA did something, which we all could see coming, and they made the game so damn greedy and predatory that it just ruined the entire experience. So if you don't know, the concept of the mode is that basically you will play the game against both computers and actual people, and you will build up points to be able to purchase card packs in the hopes of obtaining higher level players. Now for anyone my age that remembers the grind of finding card packs for Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh cards, back in the day it's it's not a fun experience you basically are gambling to hope to find a good card to make your deck better and unfortunately this is the same feeling you get when playing ultimate team now the fact there's a lot of ways to earn card packs is at least somewhat of an improvement but they also do this to get you started and then give you some slight hope to increase your team's rating by a few points maybe i mean when i was first playing i was saying damn they're actually willing to give me christian mccaffrey and his rookie form to be added to my team maybe ea isn't as green as i wait oh why is it that i have to pay 20 dollars to buy a card and i just remembered that they actually used to do this a few years ago remember when they gave us bo jackson right off the rip but then over time i realized that they only want to give you that feeling that you're improving your team but you only get to overall 70 rating and after that the grind seems to be getting out of hand marsman you get the grind what's the problem well viewer the issue is that they know they are making the grind way harder than ever before and are giving you the option to use hard-earned cash you suddenly Sometimes have to use $20, $30, and sometimes even $40 to boost your team to even have some sort of advantage. That's just bullshit. This is a pay to win concept. It's one thing to make grind hard, but then turn around to demand players to use high levels of cash to gamble for the chance to make them a better team is a bunch of crap. And if you really think about it, most of the time these card packs and the animations they have are geared towards children who are not really used to gambling, so they really don't know really the the problems of this issue they make billions with a b over ultimate team and they still can't think of a way to reform the system where it's more agreeable for the consumer so no i will not support this as long as they continue to peddle this crap to the consumers now as a devout fan i played every mode of the title and superstar mode has some solid aspects but at the same time some horrendous aspects that frankly make me want to puke when i first jumped into the mode i'll be honest i was very skeptical i mean every time madden added in a superstar mode their stories were cheap easy and just made me want to stop playing football games as a whole. So when I booted up Superstar, they went through all the same crap. What is your face? And your Joe, I'm sure, was happy to see they had more than five options here. You pick your position, which does bother me that they followed in the same crap as College Football 25 with only having five positions to pick from from my previous video. How can you not have a defensive lineman as an option? I want to be able to be the sack king of the world. So I just sucked it up and continued the football career as Mars Manor as a quarterback in the NFL. Right from the rip, we pick what type of athlete we are. And I'll be honest, I'm glad to see Madden gives you a solid chance to pick your own path of how you want to play whether it should be a running quarterback like josh allen or a field general like Peyton Manning, or just be a dumpster fire like Zach Wilson, gives you many ways to pick your opening skill points to change the way you play. Right from there, you jump right into the NFL Combine. Now before I discuss the Combine, I will discuss my disappointment on not allowing me to go through the entire college football playoffs like we used to be able to do in previous games. But I'll suck it up and just move on. Well, I gotta say, 
One of the cool aspects of Superstar Mode is the fact that we get to go through the entire combine and go through every single event like we used to do back in the day. Whether we're doing the 40-yard dash, the bench press, hell, even the NFL Shuttle. We get to show off our abilities and go for the top-rated score for each of these different events. And I gotta admit, it was actually fun to be able to do these things and see how high of a score I could get. And every time we got a high score, it actually would increase our overall stats, which is a great touch. And I also have to say, I am complete trash at the broad jump. That shit is like black magic to actually be good at. It took me several attempts, but I actually got some sort of a respectable score. So when I finally got done with the combine, I was ready to be drafted by the Rams. Now I need to be clear. Superstar mode when playing in the NFL is a pretty standard experience. They have preseason, you will level up, you lead challenges, and you move the ratings in the hopes you become a legend of the game. Nothing crazy, and honestly, I was killing it as a rookie in the NFL. Even though the Rams already have a Super Bowl winning quarterback, Matthew Stafford, on roster, they immediately started me as the overall best player to be able to lead this team to victory as the starting quarterback, which really doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'll take it from there. I was hooking the league since day one, and it, it kind of defeats all sorts of realism, but I, I'm still happy I got the play. But where Madden screws up this mode the most is when they bring in a new mode, Superstar Showdown. This utterly made me want to stop playing the game entirely, mainly because they take the classic NFL Street game, which I love so damn much, and make it into a complete joke, turning it into a 3v3 game where taunting grants you higher points. So once you create a superstar, you have an automatic showdown character that is basically an outrageous version of your dude that you made. In Showdown mode, you compete in 3v3 games where you have to pick at random whether you will be a quarterback free safety, running back linebacker, or a wide receiver corner. And your team of three will then compete against others to try to score touchdowns and try to throw up taunts to grant you extra points to get to 150. Now, I'm all for outrageous football games, ranging from NFL Street to NFL Blitz. This Showdown mode took one game mode from NFL Street and made it into an entire experience and even had the gall to take aspects from 2K games and give your player a grade to earn more XP. Now with this mode, they could have a gem on their hands if they were to drift closer to one of my favorite games of all time in NFL Street, but they give you a half-assed Diet Coke version of the game that just gives you barely enough to call it an experience. What makes matters worse is you have to grind so much to get equipment to actually make your guy even look decent. And even if your character is a quarterback, you may have to be forced to play out of position which makes your experience even worse. Because what they do is they randomize who gets to pick their position first. So if I'm playing as a field general quarterback, I would be getting destroyed by people because they're way faster than me, but my guy automatically becomes the best blocker on the entire team. I mean, I gotta be honest, I was clapping people, leading the way, destroying people on pole blocks, running down the field, clearing the path for my teammates, which was kind of hilarious. But at the same time, it's just ruins the experience that you could have had if you revamp this mode to be more like NFL Street. But we all know that EA will never actually listen to the fans and actually follow through with it. And lastly, the bugs. They they are just bad. I had experienced a few bugs in my time playing this game, but I've watched people online post all their videos of different moments they've had, and they are abysmal. I've watched players that completely miss assignments, leaving dudes wide open, games crashing in crucial moments, or in some cases, some players are just quitting mid-game and just leaving the game entirely like they're sick of the sport. I mean, Madden has always been a game that just cannot give you a standard experience, but it seems like even this new Madden, they just can't get out of their own way. The bugs and the rendering issues are enough for players to stop playing and wait for a patch. And when that becomes the case, it's not good. I never imagined a game that would be unable to proceed without something. There were times I was playing Showdown, the game can't even load, and we would just get infinite delay of game penalties because Madden sucks so much ass. Like guys, we're running around hoping we can call play, and on my end, I would have a blank screen showing my guy putting his finger in his ass waiting to call play, but nothing can ever happen. I mean, as a gamer in general, these games are broken. I was smart this time not to create an online franchise because I learned my lesson pretty hard from College Football 25, but even then, there were times my game crashed and I lost the experience of the game that I was playing currently. And I, I'll be honest, I was sort of getting clacked by San Francisco, so, oh no, the game crashed, I guess I'll have to start over and not be as awful. I did eventually win that game too, but at the bottom line is that this is pretty bad. The bugs are pretty awful, and it's kind of sad to see that EA is still can never get out of their own way. This franchise makes billions of dollars, and when you can't even invest any of those resources to make sure that your game is not just a copy and paste job, that truly shows 
like that they aren't just doing the same crap every single year then that's kind of sad it just shows that they aren't really trying to show to the fans themselves that they care so after giving the biggest fart on the game in my bad section i think it's time for me to throw on my positive glasses and give madness praises even if the game doesn't really perform to a super high degree there are some really solid aspects that show the game has improved from the past. This Madden game feels so much better than any Madden game in the last 10 years. And I know that's a bold take, but I did not feel like I wanted to slam my head into a wall while playing Madden 25. The running backs don't feel like they have broken ankles or were 500 pounds. They felt like bulky players, but had the ability to make sharp cuts. Now, let me be clear. The gameplay for Madden does not match the level of College Football 25, which is clear as day when you actually get to play it. But I can say that this is better than most Madden games I've played in the last deck. Running the ball can be smooth at times, route running for receivers are very good, and hell, even the offense alignment, who usually suck complete donkey ass, can actually cover their correct blocking assignments, which makes plays actually seem like they could actually work. And most of all, playing defense in the game isn't a complete shit show like it was in College Football 25. Being a defensive lineman and rushing the quarterback feels good. Taking angle tackles isn't a tedious process. And even the throwing mechanics are actually fun to play and don't require you to hit five different buttons to complete a basic pass. So yeah, they actually surprised me with how well they improved the gameplay loop of this game. I'm actually glad Madden found a way not to suck ass when it came to their gameplay. One of the most important modes that came back to Madden was the franchise mode. Now, for those of you that have not played franchise in a while, you basically can choose to either be a head coach or the owner of an organization. If you're a coach, you control the play-by-play -play and control the drafting of players and all that fun stuff. The only problem is you can actually get fired, so you can't suck. If you're the owner, you never have to worry about getting fired or changing jobs, but you have to hope that you actually run the organization well enough so that your fan base doesn't want you to relocate to the United Kingdom. I mean, once you do that, it's, it's game over, dude. Anyway, franchise mode hits similar feels to what we're used to in previous games. You can set up scouting later in the season when you need to do the NFL draft, which is pretty cool. Training camp gives you drills that you can complete to help certain players upgrade their skills. And the drills, just like College Football 25, are all unique and have a purpose in the gameplay. And I'd even be so bold to say that I actually like the drills in Madden more than the college football game. What you say is heresy. I know, I know. It's wild to say, but I'll be honest. The drills in Madden remind me more of the classic drills from the original games, where it feels like we're actually at practice doing drills rather than doing some wacky minigame. Like in college football, there is a quarterback drill where I'm dodging imaginary balls, shooting out of cannons while I'm also trying to hit targets. Yes, it's cool, but at least in Madden, there are like mini scrimmages that are actually drills that make sense. Most of everything else is the same when it comes to the week to week gameplay. But they did add a few things that does get me slightly happy to see that they actually listen to the fans. Throughout the season, the game will periodically throw different storylines to you and change up the simulation overall. Man had added 70 unique storylines that could occur in the season, which could encompass trade deadlines, contract negotiations, starting battles, and other football-related problems. This gives more of an emphasis of how will you handle these situations, and they could impact the overall performance of the players involved and then also your evaluation as a coach or owner and including in these storylines is the promise system which basically means that there are several moments throughout the season where we'll be asked questions or demands from the media and you need to make specific decisions that could create challenges for you to meet or try to match to. So playing as the new head coach of the New York Jets, Beef Wellington, who has already made himself a legend in college football, now is taking the reins of the Jets in a brand new fantasy draft. And right off the rip, I'm calling that we're going to the playoffs. Yes, I know it is bold, and it does come with its own sets of rewards and gambles for making such a claim. My XP will skyrocket if I do hit on this gamble, but at the same time, I could be thrown into the hot seat if I collapse and become a bottom-tiered team. And I'll be honest, it didn't help that the injury ticker of this game is completely broken and one of the worst in Madden history. Each game, at least three dudes went down with major injuries that nearly gave me a heart attack. First play from Rip, my first overall pick in the draft, Miles Garrett went down with broken ribs and was out for five weeks. Jesus, okay, we're all right, all right. We're all right, we still have T. Higgins, and oh, Christ, he just broke his leg. But even with the over-the-top injuries, the franchise mode had hit all the key aspects that fans have wanted for a while. We don't need some over-the-top storylines that are cheesy, we just need simulation football. Is that too much to ask for? And lastly, the presentation of the game has some mixed aspects to it. But I feel like the, my experience did give me some improved looks compared to the previous games. A lot of the camera angles to the play to play have improved. The fans still look like ass, but even just the movements of players actually felt okay. Now, I'm not going to lie. There were times where there were some movements that made no sense at all, but I can tell that they did increase the animations that players can use, so it doesn't feel like the same old crap they've had for the last 10 Madden games. 
offensive linemen actually block who they're supposed to. And we actually get a real feeling that we're actually playing a football game. And instead of it just being randomly pressing a bunch of buttons, it actually feels like you can out scheme your opponent because the way that the presentation and the movements and animations all fit and match what the scheme is telling you. I still think college football is more superior in the presentation of the game, but I gotta say Madden 25 has gotten an upgrade from its predecessor. So when I look at Madden 25, it's sort of a mixed bag. You walk into this franchise and just say, this is going to be trash, isn't it? And yes, most times it is. And it always feels like gaming media always throws in the famous phrase, they are taking steps in the right direction, but never really get to be in a full sprint. Madden 25 sort of fits the same trash overarching theme of all the other games, but it's like a slightly better version of the last titles I played. The game has proved on the gameplay loop, and when you play standard superstar mode, you get glimpses of the classics in the mini games that are fun. Franchise is the same old stuff, which isn't too bad. But when you look at the negative, it's it's bad. Showdown is a straight up money grubbing abomination that literally makes zero sense as to why anyone would want to play this half-baked mode. Basically spitting in the face of the fans of the NFL street games. Ultimate Team is just as greedy as ever and a complete grind with one of the worst monetary practices in the history of EA. And the glitches and bugs make me lose sleep over the fact that people are actually paying $70 for this game. Apparently every gaming media site is afraid to actually give man a score because even Metacritic has yet to receive them. I'm giving man in 25 a 6 out of 10 an official mars man mixed bag accolade i don't think this game reaches the threshold of being called a good game like some other sites say but it's not as bad as the last 10 that came before it and if they actually took the time to iron out the modes outside of superstar and franchise they may actually have the ability to make a really good madden game as much as i made fun of the phrase earlier i actually think madden may have taken a step in the right direction but we all know that in madden fashion they take a step then proceed to launch themselves head first right into a wall right on cue. I would not buy this game now and would recommend to wait until it comes out on sale. Maybe EA will learn to take the billion dollars and make an ultimate team every year and invest it in more resources for their flagship football game. If you want to hear my opinions about College Football 25 and where it stands as a football simulator, check out the video on the end screen. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Game on. <laughs>